And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Lab of Legends. This is going to be a lot of fun. We are going to be uh, playing Braum throughout four videos here. We're going to be uh, showing um, a run with Braum with each one of the difficulties. We'll start with Braum on normal and then move on to hard, then heroic, then legendary. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's what we're going to do today. And the reason why I um, wanted to do something a little bit different from our normal, just playing in ranked, playing all sorts of different decks. Uh, for those of y'all on YouTube, I haven't put, posted any Lab of Legends runs. So I wanted to do that. You can see that uh, we have got, I have played some Lab of Legends and gotten some wins with, with some of the champions. And I usually do this um, on stream after our normal five uh, normal decks whenever we hit our sub goal our bonus of goal. We've done this so far one time with Lucian um, of going through Legendary. That's the only champion that I've done. Uh, we asked Twitch chat to vote on which champion to play, and uh, we've got Braum. Braum's going to be the one that we're going to do. The other reason why we're doing this is because we have the seasonal tournament this weekend on Saturday, and um, <clears throat> right now for the leaderboard, the top 700 people in Masters rank get qualified. I'm currently at the 200th spot. Um, and uh, <clears throat> with 216 points. And so we're just gonna stay right there. The end, the cutoff is tonight, bas basically midnight local time-ish, um, but it's, you know, like later on tonight is when the cutoff is. And so there's just not, I, I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna play ranked today and risk us just having a bad day. Cause you know, we always have our, our bad days and then we just lose a lot of rank and, and then we're out of the tournament. So no real reason to risk it. Yesterday, we played 15 games in ranked. We went seven and eight. In our 15 games so you know one one game for a losing record and we started with 260 points to 264 and we dropped down to 216 so by just losing one more game than we lost we lost 50 points losing another 50 points um today would get us you know kind of close to the edge of, of qualifying or not you know, like we were at like 125th yesterday we we're at like 207 or so today so um not too much re real reason to risk it so it was either you know play our games in normal or you know, do something different and, and uh, try out this Lab of Legends and have a, a fun run. So we're going to, um, that's going to be our four videos today. We will start with normal. And uh, I've not, I've not played Braum before. This will be an exciting day. This is going to be our first time playing. This is going to be my very first time playing Braum. So here we go. All right. So with the Lab of Legends, you start with if you haven't if you haven't really played this before, I highly recommend it. Yeah, like this is this is this Lab of Legends is just so much fun. Um, I know it's been out for a long time, so I'm not really expecting anybody to be brand new to the lab. But it's a ton of fun and and, and uh, really a good way to kind of wind down and, and play some games whenever you just want when you don't want any pressure and you just want to have fun and, and everything. Um, all right. So. Let's take a look at our deck. Like I said, I haven't played this with this one. So we got, let's see, Omenhawk, Icefield Archer, Scarthane, Stefan for our one, two, three. Braum's chilling at four. Bull Elnuk also on four with Braum. And then Wild Claw at six. And looks like our spells are going to be Avalanche, Take Heart, and Elixir of Iron. Okay. So that's what we'll start with, those 18 cards. Um, so we get to choose a passive power, and we can re-roll if we don't like our choices. Um, but we do have a good choice to start with this um at the beginning of the the game summon a, a two cost uh unit from your deck that's definitely good it's it it's good to just start the game with something in play for sure so i i like that so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and just choose that okay so with the uh lab you you go through nine different games and we have to defeat all foes to unlock the next difficulty. Um, so you, we start in sh in Shadow Isles, and we play against Spiders, Mysteries, and then we have the, the uh, Thresh for the boss. Then we go over to Freljord, and you play against Hunters, Scars, and then Sejuani for the boss. And then finally, PNZ, with Foundry, Guardbots, and Victor for the final, final boss. All right, so we start with some Spiders. Okay, I am going to mulligan all these. We probably want to find Braum. Omen Hawk's definitely a good one to start with. So yeah, we just we just start the game with a 3-1 in play. We're just going to attack immediately. 
On normal, they only have 10 health at the very beginning. Like this, you know, like they'll have more health later on. Um, but also the higher difficulties, they gain more health and everything. So the enemy power is round star creative fleet and spiderling in hand. So that's how, how they have all these spiderlings. They get to create one each turn, each round. Is the correct correct? Alright, let's trade. So your life total, your nexus health does carry over to the next round, but after when you defeat a boss. Your Nexus Health will reset. So these three games against Shadow Isles, we have 30 total health. So if they if we let them hit us, you know, next round we'll start at, you know, 27. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Kill that fearsome unit that was going to attack me. Where are you? Okay, so I guess we are taking two still <clears throat> this round. So we're down to 28. Another blocker. Alright, they're going crazy. We basically just need to take the least amount of damage we can this turn and then attack with Alpha Wild Claw next turn. That's the goal. Uh, Fearsome needs to block. So it looks like we're taking three. Alright, so 25. And I wanted to save the Mighty Poro and, and have it be damaged. Okay, well they're just going to take that, go to negative 6. You know, so we'll have them, like so I would have had that for all of these. I didn't know if they would play like a vengeance on the wild bar or something weird. Alright, got our first one. Okay, at the beginning of round two, we get to choose another champion to go along with Braum. And honestly, these aren't very good choices. We want something a lot lower to the ground. Like these are just expensive, like very expensive. I'm gonna use. Go to, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of our rerolls here. Um, Ezreal, Lux, Jinx. Uh, I'm considering the PNZ ones. Like I like Zonite Urchin and get excited to go along with Jinx. So I I'm kind of leaning towards this right right here. Say so Ezreal's not bad. I don't know, those things are fairly expensive. I'm gonna go with Jinx. Get ex I like Get Excited a lot, and Urchin's good too. Yeah, we could re-roll again, <laughs> but I'll just take Jinx. Yeah, Ezreal's good, but the spells don't help much. The, okay, the main problem with taking Jinx is Jinx is a four-cost champion, Braum's a four-cost champion. So that's messy. But I'll go ahead and do it. I want to save the reroll. I don't want to use another reroll right now. Attack for 
three in. I don't... Actually, they're the mist rates. I don't think they play a one drop. Maybe they do. Okay, cool. Rewarded. Alright, so 5 4 Jinx is pretty cool. Take that. Get another 5 4 Jinx. Attack for 6. Uh, the old Risen Miss block. Close. Almost, almost had him. And so now the champion spell with uh, Get Excited should be able to finish this game out. We, of course, don't want to take any damage, right? Because he, you can see we're at 25 now instead of at 30 like we started. Because we took the 5 damage last time. So we'll just go to attacks. This, of course, is the easiest of the difficulties. Let's get the bull. Have the bull L knock do something. Okay. 2 0. Which, we're, in norm we're on normal difficulty. We should be able to do this one fairly easily, but I want to get, go through each difficulty. Okay, so now we can, um, Golden Spatula? I have never seen this Golden Spatula before. Have y'all ever seen that? That's new. Uh, let's see, not the web, um, where's my webcam? Hide that. Y'all can see that. It, all it says is it must do something. Okay. So chat says that Golden Spatula can be sweet and sometimes terrible. Okay, so it does just a random thing whenever you play the champion. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to do the Ancient Coin, though, because I don't want to have the a 4 cost and a 4 cost. So I want Ancient Coin. I want one of them to cost 3. And so we can either have Jinx or Braum cost 3. And while I know we are a Braum deck, or at least we started as a Braum deck, Jinx is kind of the better champion to have at turn 3, because you always have the attack tokens turn 1, 3, 5, and so, like... This is a good card to attack with. And of course, Jinx has a great champion spell with the um, Get Excited's also. So we're going to have Jinx cost three. Okay, and I'll just take Zonite Urchin. Want to be low to the ground. Whichever, as you know, it's like whenever we chose the Jinx, we get the extra copy. So now we have three of them instead of two. Okay, Beat Your Eyes says for the Golden Spatula, it adds plus two to total stats, switches it around, and grants a random keyword. Okay. So, you know, like this, so this has seven total stats. You had two, so nine, so it just gives it nine random, but then also just adds a keyword. That's pretty cool. All right, good hand. We're going to start with the Urchin, of course. <clears throat> and, well, maybe not. I guess I'll go Omenhawk. Yeah, so they were going to play that. That's why I didn't want them to be able to block my 3-1. Oh, no, I meant to play Omenhawk. Oh, well, I'll play it this next turn. So Bull Elnuk is not necessary to keep. I kept Bull Elnuk to discard to the Urchin. It's like a card I didn't need. I don't have to worry about keeping my life total as high this game because my life total will reset after this since this is a boss fight. By blocking the hapless aristocrat, now they don't have like the extra little spiderling. Ooh. That hurt. Leaping into action. 
Yeah, Bull Elnux my discard card. <laughs> That's what it kind of seems like. Oh, fresh soil. Just you and me, fish bones. I mean, I'm not playing this avalanche ever. Chronicler of Ruin. They're down to one. We gotta find one of our get excited or another jinx. Which there I should probably be discarding the Alpha Wild Claw because it just costs more for leveling up Jinx. Yeah, Jinx gonna die. I assume one of those hits them. And they do. Okay, so we got the first boss fight done. Now, now we get another power after we defeat a boss. Spells cost less. Start a game, draw one. When you draw a card, give allies plus one plus zero this round. Don't really like any of these powers. The flexible, this one's the best, the flexible game plan. But I think I'm gonna just reroll. See what else we get. Um, okay, I don't wanna use my last reroll, so I guess we'll get one of these. So I guess we'll either start the game by drawing an extra card or refill the spell mana. And we'll just do the refill spell mana. Um, each round. So that just basically means like our get excited, get excited, take heart, avalanche, those will cost zero mana. We, we're not really a spell deck, so that doesn't help us that much. Well, we could have give it all. Let's do it. Give it all. Troll Chance, obviously Troll Chance is the best card. And with having the spell mana, Troll Chance is definitely the best card. But give it all could be a lot of fun. We can turn, you know, like with, uh, Jinx has Quick Attack, Braum has Challenger, regener Regeneration. That could be fun. It's the lab. It's all about having fun. But yeah, if, if we were on, like, Legendary, like, I'm taking that Troll Champ. <laughs> but we're on Normal. We'll take the we'll take the fun card. Nope. Yeah. I like this. Especially how we have the free mana anyway. Anything else? <laughs> I should have just attacked for three right away. But okay, as you can see, before they had the 10 health, now they got 20 health. So I think all of these uh, these three in Freljord, I think they'll all have 20 health, I think. Winter take you. I don't know, might as well use that. Instead of just having our thing die for free. I'm kind of worried that they're going to just kill Jinx this next turn, because these hunters, they give the weakest enemy vulnerable each round, and so Jinx will be the weakest enemy. So yeah, they're just going to be able to give Jinx vulnerable. Yeah, I guess I'll just do it right now. So no, no constructs it's a Luffy Con since um, the leaderboard locks in uh, this evening, and I'm in a good spot for being qualified for the tournament.
give it all. Yeah, poor Braum. I was kind of talking about the leaderboard thing, and I kind of I just forgot about the whole zero power kill Braum thing. No, no frostbite. We're gonna take some damage. Okay, twenty five is still perfectly fine. Like we'll we'll be okay. So I could open attack, but we've seen them already play, like, they have Brittle Steel. Right, like, if I just attack, they Brittle Steal my 7-3, I'll be sad. But I guess if I cast, I guess by casting that and then they go Brittle Steal, that would also make me kind of sad. Oh, well, they didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the exact answer to that, how much time left to climb for EU. If you're, if you're on the client, check the tournament tab. Um, let's see, where do I go? So you just click on tournament and it tells you the cutoff time for your, it tells you your local time. <clears throat> what, your, what your cutoff time is. What do we get here? Essence pouch. Yeah, I guess harsh winds would have been bad. Okay, so we can get Lonely Poro. Man, these are not good. <laughs> so, you know, just basically 5-5 five, five Lonely Poro for 3 mana. Or a 5 mana plus 2 plus 2 for this thing. That doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. I guess we're using our last reroll. Uh, man, these are... These are something. So this this could help out give it all I guess with that overwhelm. Uh, we could just do shipwreck order and see if we get treasures because treasures are cool. No, you, you, these are not mix and match. These ones are are by columns. So I'm just gonna get the shipwreck order because. Uh, ooh. Because treasures are cool. Alright, I'm going to have Icefell Archer have attack nab one. Because we always start the game with Icefell Archer in play. And so we can just attack nab one immediately. Yeah, I get free free nab on game start. Hey, core deck. I am... I for sure know two decks. I haven't quite decided on deck number three yet, but... That's alright. I'm definitely playing Renekton, Sejuani, and definitely playing Jarvan, Shen with Lulu. Well, I don't want that avalanche they gave me. Block with this thing. Leaping into action. I'm ready, baby. So the nabs just give us discard fodder, basically. <laughs> Fire, no, no. 
Man, I'm just not gonna play the shipwreck order, I don't think. Or, I guess, I don't know, maybe. So if I give it all right now, it just turns them all into three fives. Probably not that worth. Even though I got nothing for this turn. And then next turn, Wild Claw. And then the turn after, turn seven, we can give it all. We feast tonight. Uh, three five block, four three, two four block, two two, and I'm just gonna take two. No, I guess I'll just I'll do this. All right, let's have another cool give it all. Oh no, I, I'm math No, I'm math wrong. I thought I had enough to do both. I'm one short. Uh I'm math wrong. Well we make quick work of you. Guess we'll just have to play the bull El Nuck. And kill him. <laughs> Just have to do that. All right, we're getting there with Brom. This is kind of like practice for the harder levels, basically. Ooh, these are all pretty good, but I I like more get excited. Get excited are awesome. But unspeakable horror when cast summon a random one cost poro is actually really cool. That's that's what that is. When cast summon a random one cost poro, that's actually really cool because like since we're like a give it all deck, the random poros have the random keywords for the poros. So I don't know. That's that's kind of cool. Or we could draw more cards with get excited. We'll just take the get excited. Oh man. Oh man. These are so much better reinforcements than the other ones that we were re-rolling. We can have give it all cost one less, which is great. Or this one. And I guess I'm gonna do this one with Braum. Whenever you cast a spell, grant me plus one plus one. So like permanent grants every time we cast a spell when we have Braum in play. We already get the free mana every single round, so having the give it all cost one less isn't that great, but. Yeah, Braum perma buffs. Super Braum. Okay. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Because we want to put Ice Veil Archer back, because there's only two Ice Veil Archers in the deck, and, you know, we start with one in play. So if, if I keep the one in hand, and then the beginning of turn, or, like, you know, we keep the one in hand, then whenever we mulligan, we get the other one. Then we'd have both of them in hand, so we wouldn't actually start with one in play. So we definitely want to put it back into our deck. Alright, I guess we're going to have an attack nab, too. Feeds my the 
Let's nab him. Dance in the flames. Hmm. Help center up. I thought about doing that with like the Jinxes get excited to put that back into the deck so there's a better chance that I would draw another Jinxes get excited. Let us get going. Um. Everyone goes boom! All right, so Braum gets that plus one, plus one. Gets to survive. And so this is Sejuani. This is the, the boss fight. We'll never forget your sacrifice, Braum. So I guess we're currently 6-0 then, aren't I? Aren't we? Obviously, like, we're going to be, like, 9-0 with, with this, but... Just kind of putting that up there so to track if we do play a harder difficulty and we lose and we have to re restart, who knows. Okay, let's see what we got. Allies have attack. Raise my health to match my power. So that... And that's... So that's a... Is that a permanent buff? Raise my health to attack for my power? Is that permanent? So, like... That is permanent? Okay, so Iceville Archer turns... Because we always play Iceville Archer on 1, so it turns into a 3-3 three, three immediately. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. So then our, our Iceville Archers are just 3-3s three, right away. You know, the, the, this one... I've, I've been happy with Dragon's Rage too, but let's do this. With how we have the 3-3 three, three all, all the time. Oh, man. These are, these are pretty interesting. We can now have Jinx have the whenever we cast a spell, grant me plus 1, plus 1. Or we could go with the golden spatula. Let's let's try out the spatula. Let's try it out. Golden spatula. It must do something. I've never I never saw that before this run. I'm putting it on the jinx because we we just want more jinxes because we want because we want like the champion spells with the jinx also. And jinx is cheaper. But we could uh, we could spatula the Brom too, I suppose. So I kept Alpha Wildclaw to discard the Urchin, but I guess maybe I sh shouldn't have because we were going to be discarding thing other things anyway. We just want to get cards out of our hand. I have Scarthay and Stefan and Bull Elnuk also to this card. <laughs> That's satisfying. All right, let's see what happens with this Jinx. Whoa, so now it's a 4-5 tough? That is pretty great. All right, we're going to... Do that, attack, now it gets healed again. What's that you got there? Just borrow it. Yeah, our deck's looking good. This is the first of three PNZ ones. Copying, you can't copy. You 
can't copy. Okay. Let's Hmm. I feel like I should kill some blockers. Alright, maybe that's a bad decision. I could have attacked immediately and made this a 6 6 again. That's alright. Of course, it. Oh, yeah, whenever we play Get Excited, we draw a card. I forgot about that. Wait, so Jinx is Get Excited, we don't draw a card? I'm looking for the, uh, um, the give it all, right? Like, that's what I'm looking for, give it alls. Yeah, Jinx is a different card, that's true. So yeah, that makes sense. Alright, we're deep. We deep. Toss two cards that had puff caps, but two cards that don't have puff caps in. Buff up you. And again, put another card that doesn't have a puff cap back in the deck. Okay, 24 is not too bad. Let's... Elixir of Iron U. Oh, because I'm not... Wait, am I not deep anymore? No, 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 I am, yeah. Okay. So I guess I should have I should have take hearted the Braum. Gross. That's alright. Looks like we have... Uh, looks like we have Braum buff up our stuff. But yeah, I should have I should have put the take card on the Braum now. Alright, but we got a bunch of 512 quick attack challenge regeneration with tough. We'll be at 23. No one knows these streets like me. I guess I need to get excited that. Yeah, just to save some life points. Put another card with no puff cast back into the deck. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is a Braum deck. 12-16 Braum. That's a good, good size Braum. Yeah, like we're winning this game, it's all about, you know, saving, having our life total higher for future games. Alright, two pup caps, so 19. Because we got two more, two more PNZ games. Gotta let Braum hit for lethal. Give it all deep. So you love about these labs. You just see like cool things you wouldn't do otherwise, you know, like give it all deep. Okay. Uh cast give it all heal your Nexus 3 or Icefall Archer have Fury. I think we're gonna have Icefall Archer have Fury. Because we, we start the game with Icefall Archer in play, it attacks as a 3-3. They block it, now it's a 4-4, and so on. Uh... Alright, so we're playing against turrets. They get a turret every round. Our hand pretty fast. Let's take this puppy for a spin. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Jinx, where you at? There's Jinx. I'm on it. <sighs> it's probably not worth avalanching, I think. At the ready. I think. And there's a problem. So we found our champions. Don't worry, I've read all about this. Give it all. Yes. How can Brom help? Rules are made to be Alright, so what's gonna happen with the spatula? Ooh, five six. Fury. Okay, we can take five six fury. Let's show our friends the door. What could be better? Um. Listen, be friends. Have you met my shield? Ah, this is fun, yes. You're disrupting my research. So basically, I didn't want I didn't want Mystic Shot to be able to kill Brom. Wait, but I have get excited they would grow Brom. Still. Oh no, I don't have room for the Mighty Poro. Mighty Poro would have gave me Overwhelm. All right, maybe I should have attacked this Omenhawk first and had that die. And they said I was dangerous. Yeah, you still look pretty dangerous. Thank you. 
Yeah, obliterated Poro. This is sad. Mm. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I want to keep, I want really want to play a take heart, right? Like that's why I played the Avalanche so I could take heart the Braum and make Braum even bigger for the give it all. But I guess they're gonna have the eight power quick attack, and I don't want to take eight. Alright, let's cast give it all. We got three good attackers. Fortunately, no overwhelm. Because I messed up with the mighty Poro. Progress day. Use another give it all. Oh right, this I forgot about the attack nav one on this thing. So just every single round they just get an eight eight T hex? I guess. Poor Braum. Wait, why don't I ever play spells and grow Braum? Yeah, I don't know why I never use Get Excited to grow Braum. Probably should. Alright, so they're out of cards. I guess we can't nab one if they're out of cards. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, I could pass see if they play something smaller for my Braum to challenge. But if I pass and they pass, that's kind of how we lose. No, in this mode, there's no milling out like normal. Or is there? Oh, never mind. I thought there wasn't. I guess there is. I thought I thought people said that they, there's no milling out. Oh, they did they change that? 
Okay, so they changed that. Okay, yeah. That's my first time for, for me to see it, but yeah, I didn't know they, they changed that. Uh... Well, we're not taking we're not taking the stuff in, right? Like we'd rather have more copies of either Give It All or Braum. Now, Braum having tough is kind of bad for Braum surviving damage and leveling up. So I'm just gonna take this mana potion, minus one cost, minus one cost on this Give It All and get more Give It Alls, right? Like we're we are a Give It All deck. I want a, I want a third copy of Give It All. Give It All, sweet. All right, final final boss for normal. Playing the victor. I'll oh, go ahead and nab one. Ooh. Death ray could be cool. Broke my hand. So I got a new one. It's a 3-3 quick attack. That's pretty big. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, actually, I don't really want this stuff, right? Well... Nah. Maybe I should have taken him. Wait, because yeah, Death Ray is any unit, isn't it? Use that to damage my own stuff. Trying to win this on the back of <laughs> Ice Veil Archers. Alright, Flash of Brilliance. Mind Meld. Strong Arm. Yeah, we got... So, yeah, we have double nab, double fury. Um, so, if I give it all... We just turn all three of these into 7-7s. Seven I kind of have nothing else to do. I guess so. Either that or just, like, attack him, have them take damage, and then strong arm and put this android in my hand. Yeah, they're just blocking with those things anyway. Alright, they're gonna be dead pretty soon. Behold me, apes. Humanity is obsolete. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so we're at nine. Are they gonna have triple get excited to kill me? I hope not. I have ten mana. So I can play 
One, two, three. Then quick attack. Okay, so we're going to Death Ray you, Elixir of Iron you. Give it all. And so then I can either play, you know, I can either just attack or play this Plaza Guardian now. I think just attacking makes sense. Uh, 12 out of 20 for Pursuit of Perfection. Alright, there we go. Alright, so finished up our normal run there with Braum. Um, so they, they will get more difficult in the future. When we go to our other our other levels. See, so we had our, our Jinx with our Golden Spatula. We didn't have, like, usually, like, with, with these, you have, like, one featured card that has, like, tons of, of buffs, and it's, like, cr pretty crazy. We didn't really have that. This was just kind of a kind of a normal run, um, you know, kind of a slower deck, um, especially compared to some of the Lucian, gate, the Lucian decks that we had. But we had Out of the Gates, which was good, and, yeah, we had pretty good buffs there. So there we go. That's normal with Braum. Experiment succeeded. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the Lab of Legends. How have y'all been liking this? I have been just really, really enjoying the Lab of Legends. Uh, I think this is just a ton of fun for this uh, game mode. But um, that was the, you know, that was our first one. We're going to try Hard, Heroic, and Legendary as well. All right, but that's it here for the uh, Braum on Normal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.